SpaceX has got uh, five five thousand people, and um, I get a lot of attention, but uh, it's, they really do the work. So awesome team. Seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition. I think we're at the dawn of a new era, and, and it's, it's, I think it's going to be very exciting. What we're hoping to do with SpaceX is to push the envelope and provide uh, a reason for people to be excited and inspired to be human. We managed to do three launches, but they, they failed. Um, and I actually only had the money for, for three launches, but we managed to, that was the, the original plan of the world. After three, if we haven't succeeded, well, you know, maybe that, that, that should be, that, that's it. Um, but we managed to scramble and put together the parts for one, one final launch, and, and it worked. Every now and again, the little scrappy company wins. And I, I, I think this will be one of those times. Three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. I think it's important that humanity become a multi planet species. I think most people would agree that a future where we are a space-faring civilization um, is inspiring and exciting um, compared with one where we are forever confined to Earth until some eventual extinction event. You know, that, that's really why I started SpaceX. What I'm trying to do is, is to make a, a significant difference in, in spaceflight and, and, and help make spaceflight accessible to, to almost anyone. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. You know, there are American heroes who don't like this idea. I was very sad to see that um, because those guys are, yeah. You know, th those guys are heroes of mine, so it's really tough. You know, I, I wish they would come and visit and, and see the hardware that we're doing here. And, and I think that would change their mind.